This is a very, very special day for the both of you. You have chosen to become husband and wife. Congratulations. You know, as a minister, I don't believe in luck or chance or coincidence. I believe in purpose. This marriage is meant to happen. It's a good purpose. And just give yourself some time. It's going to continue to reveal itself, this good purpose. But the reason you're here this afternoon is because of love. And that is the best reason to enter marriage, love. So let's think about this word for a moment. For you see, it is love that's going to keep this marriage strong. And I believe the word deserves a few moments of thought. Three types of love between individuals. There's a love that says, I will love you if doesn't work. Love with conditions. Then we have another one that says, I will love you because of. No good. Love with conditions. Finally, we have one that says, I will love you in spite of. This one works. However, let me warn you, very demanding, but it works. An unconditional love. And this is a love where I hope both of you choose to express in this marriage, your love unconditional. No strings attached. It's an ongoing love, not a selfish love. In fact, if you commit yourself to this love, you're going to find out it's a sacrificial love. It's going to take a lot of sacrifice. Commitment of both of each other's marriage and to this love to make it work. Primero, como ministro, gracias. Quiero la felicidad a la familia. Como ministro, yo no. Es un amor que dice nosotros estamos listos para sacrificar todo y quedarnos casados. Cuando entre conflicto y problemas y pruebas, y si van a entrar. Pero ahí nos vamos a quedar amándonos sin condiciones y las decisiones de ustedes dos. ¿Cuál amor van a escoger y seguir? Y ojalá sea el amor que dice nosotros, nos vamos a más sin condiciones. Salvador. Do you take recount of your lovely wife this evening in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, to walk with her as a friend, partner, lover, provider, protector, husband? Do you take her as your wife? Raquel, do you take Salvador as your husband also in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, to walk with them as a friend, partner, lover, wife, 
a wife that will stand with him, do you take him as your husband? Estoy seguro que ustedes dos tienen algo especial aquí. Que se cuiden. Y que puedan andar como ejemplos. Enseñando a otra gente como dos personas se van a más sin condiciones. You know, in a few moments, this is going to become a reality. Husband and wife. Congratulations again. And two people in love like the both of you made a good choice here. Just do me a favor. And do yourselves a favor. Don't ever take this love for granted. And don't allow anybody, anyone or anything to come between the two of you. And I'm talking about family and friends and money and beliefs and children. The list can go on and on. Don't let it divide you. Where you see true love is not easily found in this world between two people. I have a feeling both of you are well aware of this fact already. The 19th of September, a day with your mark anniversary, the presence of friends and family. Everyone? Vamos a orar que el Señor va a bendecir la, este matrimonio. Let's, let's have a little prayer that God may bless this ceremony. Vamos a orar. Father, bless this marriage. Protect this couple. Give this couple many, many years of happiness. And may others learn from the good example. For once again, we ask these things in thy name. Amen. By the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. The newlywed. <laughs> 